Hey everybody, Jesse here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a competition against one of my friends from the industry to see who can build the best environment in Unreal Engine 5 in two hours. If you end up enjoying the video, please do all that YouTube stuff that people say. Usually it helps out the channel, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Here we are. I'm about to hit the random button. Are you prepared? I don't think you are. I'm not. Crash on me, I'm gonna cry, dude. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna lose the whole video. Yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, five. Five is tundra. Ice. I don't even know what that word means. Oh. What do you mean you don't know what that? <laughs> I forgot I live in the tundra. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna mute and then check on. Oh, I need to start the timer. Uh, so two hours, and we're going right now. Uh, I'm gonna deafen, and then I'll check back on you when there's like, I don't know, 20 minutes past or so. Okay, so Tundra. Uh, I think where I'm gonna start, we have two hours, and we're trying to make it as nice of an environment as possible. So what I'm considering here is whether or not I should spend time, if it's a worthwhile investment, to spend time making a 2D layout of the whole thing before I actually make one if it'll help me come up with a rough idea as to what I want to make. I think in order to get some inspiration, what I want to do is, well, first off, I, I gotta create a new level. My Unreal's gotta compile nine million shaders. This might be a really painful experience, but that's all right. I'm just gonna do a paint real quick. All right. This is gonna be beautiful. We're in two hours, so we don't have time to make like a, you know, eight hour level experience. So I'm gonna do a pathway as if it's gonna be like the end of a level to the next area, maybe. Do like a cave here, an ice cave. I think that's a good idea, do a tundra ice cave. Maybe have some mountains in the back. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up the Quixel stuff and I'm gonna see, where is that, it's here. Uh, I'm gonna open up the Quixel stuff, I'm gonna look through and I'm gonna see what my options are here. Oh, I know what I'm gonna make. You know what, Never mind. I was, I was gonna make, hmm. Here we go, this is gonna be really professional. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have uh, like a path going between some hills, looking kind of like this, and then like this is the snow-covered bricks and stuff. I think, uh... <laughs> this background, maybe the whole thing might be mountains. This whole uh, section beside you might be mountains. I think it's too linear. I don't like that. I think that right here is will be a one big mountain. That's what I want to do. Okay. Not gonna say. Got the idea. You know what? I know what we're good. And then maybe I'll spend a bit of time towards the end if I have enough extra time. I'll spend enough time making a nice uh, snow particle system. I think that's what we're gonna do. All right. Uh, I wish I would save this because it's obviously a masterpiece of art, but I think I'm good. Okay, that is pretty big, but I think it's pretty good. It's, you know, it's better to have extra space than not. We're not trying to make this optimized, right? So, don't want to run out of space. And the first thing I'm going to do is go over to the list landscape, and I need to make a landscape material. So we're going to go ahead and do that first right off the bat. Okay, these are all downloaded, so I think you have to hit the export button, and then it should export these into your project, and it does. Cool. All right, let's make the material. All right, we'll make a material. This will be our landscape mat. Uh, well, I guess maybe I should use better naming convention. Okay. Let's do this. How much time? Almost 10 minutes has already passed. That's more than I thought I'm gonna be honest. Okay, this is fine. How many materials do I even have for my landscape? Mega scan, surfaces, three. So we're gonna pull up three textures here and we're gonna pull up three textures down here. Then I'm gonna make some constants here by holding one and clicking. And I'm gonna plug these into the roughness and the metallic maps, I believe. Then I'm gonna use some blend. Yeah, landscape layer blend, that's what I was looking for. Here we go. Okay, so this landscape material, again, I could polish it to make it a bit better, uh, but this is gonna be a good start and this will allow us to paint uh, different areas on the landscape. So I'm realizing now that I definitely made this landscape too big, but we can just have the rest of it hanging on, it doesn't matter. Okay, perfect. 
So I'm sure Jeff's gonna do the same thing, so. Just as a. Kind of be doing landscape layer blending, just so you can paint on different types of materials onto the landscape and kind of blend them together, make them look prettier. Well, so far it's been just over 20 minutes. How are you holding up? Uh, I'm just setting up the landscape material right now. I don't know why, but my main. Um, the main color from my first layer blend is just straight up flat white when I did not download a flat white texture. Mm. So I, I see. The is there. Well, 20 minutes have passed. Okay. Well, I mean, most of this. <laughs> most of it is just like, you know, a really nice landscape, so. Let's get back to it then. I do. Okay, so. Honestly, I thought I'd get a bit more far ahead. Maybe he'll get stuck. But I thought I'd get a bit more far ahead than he did at this point, because I thought I'd do that faster. But maybe not. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Because what I think I'll do, what I think I'll do, is I'll put... I'll, I'll sculpt up this side of the landscape here, and then I'll put a building here, and then there'll be a pathway through here with forest and then snow coming down, and then I'll paint this all stone brick, and then this will be like some sort of des destroyed structure or something. Better some... Uh trampled snow under there. Let's see if I can make it look nice. It's kind of half road, half gravel, and like a little bit of blended just trampledness into it so it looks like people have been down this road before. Let's see if that ends up looking good. Maybe it looks like sh**. Who knows? Now this pillar is what I was very interested in because I think what I'm going to do, it even has a writing on it, which is neat. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this like a kind of shrine. Instead of like an actual building, I think I can make it like a kind of shrine in the middle of like the snowy forest. Ooh, I think it's coming together, I think. This dog thing looks kind of weird really up close, like it's not many polys. But honestly, I think the novelty of it... Let me actually check. <laughs> Are we talking? Or are we blowing up my computer? This is gonna be worth it. It's the focal point of the whole thingy. So, it's gonna be worth it. I have faith. Oh, I'm also gonna need to add a bunch of trees and stuff. So hopefully my goal right now is to get all this done, and then have about, right now, I mean, it depends on loading times, to be honest with you. My computer kind of stinks. But hopefully I have about 30 minutes left to polish, maybe do all the vertex painting and stuff. I mean, what should I do? Should I do the vertex painting first on the stone, or should I do the snow particle? Which is more important. I think getting the trees all in is more important, so we'll do that first. If I want to be really cheeky, I could go in, take out the texture, export it, put it in Photoshop, and change it so that these eyes are, like, emissive. When you go close, they can, like, glow, and that would be, like, kind of cool. But I think that's overscoping, so we're gonna, we're gonna chill with this. I think this looks okay. Let's make the snow particle system. Let's do it. I have not used the particle systems in Unreal for a while, so this is going to be something that I might screw up. So, better to get it out of the way now. Oh god, this is just Niagara stuff. Is there a deprecated thing? Because I know how to make it using Cascade, but I've never used Niagara. Uh-oh. Meanwhile... Hello. So How's it going? It is getting kind of spicy. Yeah? Yeah, I think I'm going to figure out vertex painting time, but it's... Uh... <laughs> I was going to do that too. I was making my particle system still, and I've never used uh, Niagara. I just used Cascade before, so I had to learn it. But I think yeah, it's okay. I mean... All right, well, there are 52 minutes left. It's doable. All right, I will check up with you in, well, I guess when there's like 40, 30 minutes left or something. Okay, okay so it might be a lot to do vertex painting as well, actually, now I'm thinking about it. If I want to actually go ahead and make this look like there's like actual snow on it and stuff, I'm going to have to do a bit of complicated material 
and in 36 minutes when I also have to polish everything and put in my tree still, I don't think that's what I want to go for. left so in two minutes I'll go back and talk to him. I think once I change my sky sphere and I put in the trees we'll be off to a pretty good start and I'll be able to look and see if maybe I can squeeze in putting snow on those and speedrun making a complicated material on that. I know there's it's probably not that hard but it's just not something that familiar with because I'm not a technical artist. Yo! Don't tell me time's up. No, how's it hanging? Thank <laughs> <laughs> 30 minutes left. I think it's looking really good, but I, like, kind of I centered my detail on, like, a little bit too much on one area. Alrighty. Well, I'll come back when there's, like, five minutes good. left. 27 minutes. <gasps> okay. We got uh, it. <laughs> all right, but like, uh, it's, like, the fastest hour and a half of your life, I know. It actually is. I really want to put something for background, because usually you don't want to just have this like foreground area, you need to have something in the background, but we'll get to that after. Add a little sky atmosphere. This is new, I believe. I'm a fan of this. And then something I don't know if you can combine the two. There might be some conflicts, but I want to throw in some fog. Expansion high fog. Oh no, it, it, it likes this. And I definitely like this. I haven't even done anything with it yet, and I really like it. I think this is looking pretty good. My computer disagrees. <laughs> uh, how much time? 23 minutes? I'm feeling good about this. Yeah, so foreground or, or background stuff. I think I might. 20 minutes left. I'm actually going to look through on the bridge because I know there's some really sick assets for Tundra. Like those... those uh, there, there was the ice flows and stuff. So maybe I can put those around the side. I'm missing a... I'm missing some extra detail to the main set piece here, and I don't know what else to put. I think what I could do to sell this more, I have nine minutes. I could paint some more trees up here. Okay, well, I have eight minutes. So what do I want to do in those eight minutes? What can I do in those eight minutes? I hate not having enough time to do the foliage wind, dude. It being, like, it looks good, but it being uh, not windy at all kind of ruins it. Oh! Oh shoot, wait, uh, there was a couple other things I was going to add. Oh, I have four and a half minutes. Like this, could be interesting to have. Kind of done, I don't really know what else to add. There's nothing I can really do for four and a half minutes right now. I have no other last touches here. Alright, I'm going to go into play, and then we can see, uh, I'll maximize this. And you go through, you and you have 40 I'm FPS. I'm scared of putting fucking foliage down, but yours does not look bad. I should have fucking put foliage down. Ah! Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sad that I couldn't make it blow in the wind because it looks very dead, but uh, <laughs> insane vertex painting on the snow on these. Yeah, yeah, the insane vertex paint. Yeah, you see what I did with there? Uh, place objects? <laughs> yeah, I placed snow meshes that were very <laughs> small <laughs> because I tried to vertex paint for a while and it, it just wasn't... I put foliage on the roof! Nah, don't look at that. <laughs> don't look at that. Don't look at that. My computer, I can right. hear it dying. All right, I will. Oh, this isn't even built lighting. Well, you know what? I'll build the lighting while I watch your thing. Uh, well, we'll, we'll hit play and go in. After I built the lighting, the fucking color of this door changed to not be the same color as like this. It was like the same color and it blended pretty well. And then I built lighting and I was like, oh wait, I think I like your level better because I just I couldn't get the finishing touches on mine. I yeah. Fucking, I should worry about my time better. Yeah, I think I think that's the I think that's the biggest thing. It's like. I think you would actually have the better level if you had foliage particles and fog in, but I just, I, I think I just I polished faster. I did not manage my time well enough. I did not manage my time well enough. I should have just picked a staircase and stuck with it. <laughs> 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 That's the problem. I spent at least a total of, like, 20 of my minutes on the staircase, like, in total. <laughs> but, like, it's just 20 minutes gone, but it could have been three. Yeah. Well. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and it was a lot of fun.
It, but it, it, take, it took me 30 minutes to make snow, which should be sacrilegious. <laughs> it literally should be a one-and-done thing, but I, I couldn't make the f***ing particles move for 20 minutes, and I was so confused. 